Okay, well, I'm trying out the new camera equipment. Uh, hopefully you can see better and everything stays put. Again, thanks to whoever sent that. Pretty cool. So, the saw ice. I didn't realize how popular this was going to be. Um, it's really simple. So, here is a link or a screenshot, however I decide to do it, for some really cheap ball vices. That's what it's called. Uh, ball vise, that is going to get you this part right here. Which will have adjustable tension. And they come with, some of them come with like a little, like a, a vise that's attached to this part. It doesn't matter. All you need is this part. And this, basically this bracket, this was for a Husqvarna. Again, it, it got thrown in a metal dumpster because they ran out of tension. The way this, this works is you have tension in the bottom that'll turn up and then there's like a bolt with a cup on it that pushes up on this, this ball that's in this, you know, basically hits the ceiling right here. It's in this cup. So what happened is they were moving this lever all the way over. They had everything all the way adjusted tight and they do wear out over time. Uh, that's the one thing with the really cheap ones. You can get them for as low as 25 bucks. Uh, as high as I think you can get one exactly like this for about 350 bucks. I think it's used actually. Uh, but when they ran out of tension, they gave up on it, tossed it. I just, this track right here goes around and it stopped like right here. I don't want to move my phone off my fancy camera. So I just grooved this track out more and that's all I needed to do. And now I got more tension. So simple fix, but this bracket was for a Husky, so I had to, you know, mill that out a little bit so it would take the, the thicker bar studs from the steels. And then also I had to cut this out to uh, fit the the chain tensioner. So depending on what saws you have, you might have to have a plate that you have a bunch of, you know, different slots and stuff in it so it'll fit different bars. And then this one just threads onto here. So you're, if you want the absolute cheapest route, Buy a ball vise for CNC purposes though. Like if you get one, they sell them for jewelry kits. You don't want that. You know, they're, they're tiny. You, you can't use that. So it's for, you know, heavier stuff. CNC up to like 30 pounds or something like that. And you might have to make your own, fabricate your own uh, basically bracket, I guess you could call that. And you want to know a really cheap way or easy way? Take an old bar that is junk. And if you have some, you know, ability to weld and whatnot, cut that thing off about right there or even leave it longer. Bolt the thing to it. I mean, you can get it as simple or as, as involved as you want, but then you know that this is going to go right on the saw. You know it's going to hold it. This is for this husky, isn't it? Okay, never mind. Got to be smarter than the saw. It seems tight, but either way, you will need a, a spacer, though. You'll have to put a spacer between the you know the bar nut and uh, and the bar so uh, what I, what I did at my old job actually is we had uh, we had this part the you know the ball vice part so I took a bar I cut it off like out here somewhere and you want to leave yourself rooms for felling dogs because if you cut it real short then the felling dogs are going to hit the post and then I just you know outlined like this I was actually thinking about just making one for a husky and I only use one bar nut. You don't need two every time. I mean, you do a lot of them, you get kind of, you know, you're like, saves time. There's no reason for two of them. It, it's going to hold. So I just outlined like that. Then I took a spacer, welded it on like that so you don't have to grab the spacer and the, you know, and the bar nut every time. So this would just be welded on there. You just slide this thing on. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time getting that on there. What the fuck? But yeah, so that would just be welded to that. And then... You can clamp this down. Here, I'll tighten it down and I'll show you that, that you literally only need uh, one bar nut. You'll be able to pick this whole saw up with this, no problem. It won't hurt the saw. And uh, you don't want to get this piece thicker so it's getting into your threads. That's another uh, thing to watch for. I'm not even going to tighten it down super tight. So it's just on by one. You can pick this whole saw up, no problem, any way you want. Uh, 
you could, you know, you could put supports on it. You could do whatever you want to stiffen it up. You know, if you had a, a cheap bar and you had it way out here, clamped way out here, and you know, you can, you can move this thing around however you want, but it's going to see how that bar started to flex. And this is kind of a bigger saw, you know what I mean? This is kind of funny. I found this in my scrap metal pile like this. Uh, what a perfect little piece of metal for this. You know, everybody, if you're making a, a vise for your chainsaw, odds are you've probably got a scrap metal pile somewhere. So this worked out super slick. So what I would do here, this is super tight on here. I don't like that. Fuck that thing. But uh, you see how this, like, this track out like that perfectly? I think that's for the smaller... You know, they got, the Huskies have like a wide tail and a narrow tail, don't they? That seems like that's the wrong bar. But, uh, so I would just get that tight there, mark your hole, drill a hole there, weld the spacer. So you got a spacer and a hole, and you're good to go. Go right about there. Give yourself a little bit of room. And then you got to realize, too, there's, you know, there's different saws, different bolt patterns, different all kinds of stuff. So... I'm not going to get real technical here, but I am a, a freelance artist, so that's going to be super simple. I'd mount that sucker right there, weld that on, drill a hole, and I'm actually going to do that. And then on this, I would just weld a nut or a bolt or whatever you need to attach it to the, the vise. So there you go. This was free. The ball vise, 25 bucks. You can spend as much as you want, and you're good to go. Uh, one thing I will show you. Okay, so here I got a saw in it. I'm just kind of moving it around just to show like the amount of movement you can get. So if you keep, hold my phone with one hand. If you keep like a decent amount of tension on this, it's going to be hard to remove obviously. But I've noticed, so I'm doing this with one hand. I'm, I'm kind of tilting this thing. Let me get it set here. So, and then uh, tighten it up. The nicer, you know, the ball vice, the nicer ones are going to give you more tension for sure. You know, they're not going to wear as fast and you get more, you know, of an even steady pressure on it because it's literally just a cup that pushes on this ball that stops against this other cup and it's just friction that holds it in place. Uh, pressure, I guess. But so then now it's way, it's a lot harder to move. And then if I crank this thing all the way down, that sucker will not move. Probably rip the pipe out of the bench. But, uh, Super easy to make. I mean, if you guys are watching this channel, you're obviously pretty mechanical and handy, and you could make something like that super easy. If you don't have a scrap metal pile, you might spend fifty-one forty. But hey, that's not my fault. I still meet my end of the bargain. Under fifty bucks, guys. Free uh, with tax and shipping. I'd be. I could get one for about forty dollars, and the ten bucks is to buy yourself a beer. You know, I don't drink, but I can do something with that 10 bucks. There we go. Super easy, guys. Enjoy. You guys probably never heard this damn song, but I'm old. Not gonna sing, but there you go, Pat. Fuck, that was brutal. <laughs>